Where are we checking right now? Blood pre uh, blood pressure, right? Yeah, you got it. Nice. Blood pressure. <gasps> you can look at Alex, she's TikToking in the office. Boop, boop, boop. Whoa, how do you do that? Hold here. So strong today. She's in trouble. Needs a hero. She feels safer at my place. Don't need no talk. I don't wanna hear your problem. Shorty don't do this often. So I'm sure it was pop. Let's get it pop. Picky got secrets drop. Hey guys, welcome to the Alex and Kels channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Alex. And I'm Kels. And before you get to the video, you guys, we just want to make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button, the like button, and turn on your post notifications bell. And for today, we have a little update video for you guys. We are at my OBGYN doctor visit. So today I am 34 weeks. Actually, no, yesterday I'm 34 weeks. So which means you guys that we only have one month left until the baby is here. So close, like our baby's almost here. Guys, he can come any day, really. Like we've heard many stories of babies coming early. Yeah. Um, so basically, yeah, he can come in like two weeks or one week. So hoping that he comes after our baby shower because our baby shower is yeah. this Saturday. And baby, just hold on for another few weeks. Yeah, please. please. <laughs> yeah, please. Just give us some time to get ready. Yeah. But anyways, we'll be showing you guys a little bit of update on how he's doing, his little heartbeat, and yeah, that's all we got. And about. also, like we said, he can come any day. So we're also gonna show you what's in our hospital, hospital bags. Bag. Yeah. So we're super excited to show you guys what we got. We got some good stuff. Alex is definitely gonna be taken care of, but first, let's go check out the doctor. How much do you weigh, babe? 170. 170? I weigh more than you now. Wow. Wow! Holy <laughs> Guys, Alex weighs just as much as me. I weigh 172. Are you proud? Yes, that's a big mama. A few minutes later. How many pounds did she gain from the last time we were here? Four. Four. Wow, four pounds. You yeah. got them gains, babe. He's growing. He's growing. He's, He's getting big. We're gonna make sure. Where are we checking right now? Blood pre uh, Blood pressure, right? Yeah, you got it. Nice. Blood pressure. <gasps> blood pressure. <laughs> they are 34 weeks even. Yes, ma'am. So next time we'll do that cold trip for the group B strep. Make sure you don't have a strep deal going on. That's just for the baby's protection so they don't get like a strep throat type oh, thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, they can get. Is that where you throw the swab down in there? Yeah. In my mouth? Yeah, where else would it be? We got a strep butthole. <laughs> If he's filming, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> Just in case. What about the T-Dap shot? She talked to you about all that last time, right? 124 or 67, you're good. Nice. Guys, so we're obviously always working. Look at Alex, she's TikToking in the office. Whoa, how do you do that? Let's see her moves. What the hell was that? Is that cringy or what? Cringe. It's trendy. Is it? I think I'm gonna do it again. It'd probably go viral then. <laughs> you look so funny in the background. What was I doing? <laughs> Just recording. Um, kind of like period cramps, uh -huh. a little bit. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, that's sweet. Really sweet. Is he positioned, do you think? So it feels like he's positioned head down right now. I don't worry about baby's position until 36 weeks. Okay. So up until 36 weeks, babies still flip around a little bit, but it feels like his butt's over here, his back's here, and head's down here. Nice. Few moments later. It was a great appointment again. Nice and healthy. Baby is nice and healthy. Watch Alex try to get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Big old mama. All right, guys, look, so we're back home from the doctor's appointment. We had the baby super healthy, and now you guys have been asking us what's in our diaper bag. In our a yeah, hospital, hospital I'm sorry, what's in our hospital bag? Yeah, we'll do a diaper bag later on, but. Yeah, so I think I know. what are we bringing to the hospital with us has been a very common question. Um, and I'll first, start. Yeah, let's, start? Yeah, let's have you. Let's have the mom start. Okay, so I'm actually going to be bringing a roller suitcase, you guys. I don't want to be carrying anything. I know I'm not gonna be carrying anything, but I'll make it easy for Kellen. 
have it in a rolling suitcase, so here yeah, we go. I was gonna say, what the hell are you gonna carry? <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so I have a blue robe, nice comfy blue robe. It's, <laughs> it's really soft and I love that it's blue because we are having a boy. So we have that, I ha it's brand new, I haven't touched it. I have, how many pairs of jammies? One. It's like we're going on vacation, guys. Dude, I just wanna be comfortable. So I have three jammies, one very like loose, like air flowy one. This is my Victoria's Secret one. I love this one. So, you know, it's like my favorite one. This one, got it on Amazon. It's kind of like a grandma one, but. Yeah, I it looks like something my Nana would have wore. <laughs> you know what? I think it's it's comfy, it's long. So I wanted something that I could be Nine comfortable months ago, with. she would have ne never worn that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I brought another one just in case it's cold in there. This is just like pants and it's just like long pants. Pants and a shirt. And a long sleeve shirt. Kellen actually got this for me for Christmas and I love this one. It's kind of faded, but Aww. it's so comfortable. So yeah, three pajamas, flowy, more warm, kind of medium. So yeah, okay. Next thing I have is a going home outfit. Honestly, I'm just gonna be wearing something super chill and- Another pajama set. Basically. I was like, what am I gonna wear to come home? Just like, just something comfy. comfortable. Yeah. These kind of just like hug your waist. So I thought this was nice, but it's also very flowy. So I like this. This is like my, this is like an airport outfit. Yeah, definitely. Right, I always wear this to go to like the airport because I'm trying to be comfortable. This is normal sweater. Nice little normal sweater, very comfortable. I got this at Honeybum. I need to shop with them. I haven't shopped with them in a long time. So I got that and then, oh, I just have like a little, a little top. shirt. Yeah, a little top, okay. Next, we're gonna get into the into the other stuff. Okay, so I watched a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of moms recommended an after band. So what it is, it's a shape and support band for your post baby belly. I have a Sweet size hammer. small. No, I wanna show it to them. Look, so once you have your baby, I mean, once I have my baby, it's like I'm gonna. A faja. It's literally a faja, but it's just specifically for postpartum. And basically, you just put it on. Post pregnancy? And it, no, postpartum. Oh, uh, you go straight into postpartum after. Uh... Yeah, this is what it's called, right? Postpartum? Oh. Yeah, postpartum only. Oh. I think he's thinking about postpartum depression or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> no, Dude, it's that postpartum. thing smells like chemicals. What the hell is it? It, it, it does kind of stink. I'm gonna have to wash it. But yeah, it has we, like. It's a good thing we did open that. This has little stickies, so that way it's supposed to not like come down or anything, but I'm excited to put this on and just like kind of just put everything back to normal. Um, Ready for the bounce back? Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna well, dude, you got take my thing. time. <laughs> but yeah, this is very, very important. Okay, and then now I have your favorite, babe. I have uh, some sexy undies for you. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do with myself? <laughs> So I am bringing three big underwears. I was told that I need these because I'm gonna put pads on. So uh, the other one, I don't know where it went. I feel oh, like here we're it is. Doing a BBL all over again. Here it is. I, you guys, I don't wear these, but you know they look comfortable. They're stretchy and they feel really nice. So I think they Looks are. Looks like gonna... something I would wear. Some nut huggers. <laughs> But I have three, and they're dark because I know that we're gonna. I'm gonna be bleeding a lot, so this is gonna. Hopefully be... Hopefully not. Yeah, you get your period right after. Okay. Guys, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just. You get your period for like a whole month. Really? Yeah. All those months that you didn't have your, I didn't have my period. It comes back. It's like the mother load. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, and then I have some bras. Nursing bras. Uh, you know, I love my little colors. I got the pink and I got the purple. I got these on Amazon, you guys. They're very, look, it clips on, uh, clip it right here. Take out the boob, feed the baby, and Whoa. then you. Boob action. And then you clip it back on and you're back. So these are actually really comfortable. I, am I wearing one? No, I'm not wearing one right now. But I was wearing one yesterday. So I have, I'm taking two. And I also have some socks. Nice, comfy socks. And I have this no slip socks. So, cause I know like the floors are very, Slippery over there. The last thing I want to do is freaking slip, right, babe? Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be doing much walking, but you don't know what's gonna happen. I feel like I'm gonna be walking a little bit because like, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, you guys. Okay, so this is my toiletry bag. I'll just give you guys a little quick peek. But basically, I have mouthwash, toothbrush. Yeah, lotion. I have two toothbrushes. One for me. One from Kellen. Knowing me, I'd forget mine. Tooth? No, I know. Toothpaste. Contact. What Solution. Is it? Solution, because we work contacts. Deodorant, paraben free, aluminum free. Oh, nice. Yes. That's the good stuff right there, guys. Make sure you buy aluminum free and. Uh... Yeah. Face wash, 
breast wipes after you're done breastfeeding or whatever. <laughs> that way he doesn't get like spoiled milk or something? Or just like kind of clean up. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I'm kind of prepared. I guess you just have to be prepared. And then taking a little bit of coconut oil. I love coconut oil to moisturize, you guys. It's my favorite thing. Also, it helps with acne, if you guys didn't know. That's how I treat my acne. A little body wash and basically just like all the necessities, but just like and small. Contact holders. Contact holders, rate one razor, you know. What? What are you shaving in there? My armpits. My hair grows fast. Okay. Okay. Oh, eye drops, my favorite. Let me Alex is huge on eye drops. She loves eye drops. Oh shit, this one's strong. Oh, it feels so good. Whoa, this one's really strong. You okay there? <laughs> Jeez. Hold on. Yeah, this one's super strong, but it feels, it's like it's like a very cool like sensation, like bam, right in What's your it face. Feel like? You want to try? No, 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 I don't want to try. Callan hates eye drops. <laughs> Why do you hate eye drops so much? I don't know. This is a, I've got contacts in already. I'm not trying to put a bunch of other weird foreign shit in my eyes. Yeah, but the contact solution is supposed to like keep your eyes lubricated. Your yeah. eyes never get dry? No. I slept in with my uh, slept you with guys. My contacts in for years. When I started dating this man, he would sleep with his contacts in. And you know what he got? He got a mother sty in his eye. Ew. Yeah. And then after that, I was like, you have to take your contacts out. Yeah. Yeah. He did. Yeah. I learned my lesson. I've never slept with my contacts in ever again since. What? But I've had contacts since I was like 11 years old, 10 yeah. years old. Kellen is like really blind. I'm blind as shit. Like when he takes off his contacts and I'm, I'm like maybe like this far away from him, he's like, Dude, I'm like, what are you doing? I'm trying to like squint. I'm trying to see. It's horrible. Yeah. It's so bad. I forgot to mention I have some dry shampoo. I cannot live without dry shampoo. It's my favorite. Dry bar. Okay. Disinfecting wipes if it's needed, you know? But you would hope that since it's a hospital that it's, everything's clean. Yeah, I hope we get the non-toxic ones. And then this is a very long charger. A lot of moms were saying that you needed a long charger just because, you know, you're laying in bed and all that. So that's the pink one. Extra brush. I need to clean it, but extra brush. <laughs> Flip flops, you guys. For what? Taking a shower. Oh. Because we're gonna go to the beach after, that's why. Well, I thought we were going to the beach. You got you <laughs> damn near packed for the beach. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, so Razors, flip flops for showers. the. Flip, you just wanna be prepared, right? Flip flops, so when you take a shower, I'm gonna throw these away after. I got kind of like the ones that I really don't care about. Another thing I brought was a Clarity room spray with essential oils. Got this at Target. It smells really good. And I watched some YouTube videos, and they, a lot of the moms said, like, if you want it to feel kind of like home, just have like a spray or two. And yeah, it's like smells nice, you know, because I don't know how hospitals really smell. You know how they smell? I have no idea. Oh, well, I'm very big on scents. Like, my scents, my. What? Yeah, I'm big on scents. You're not big on. She likes lighting candles. I hate candles. I don't do candles anymore, but yeah, I like candles. I like the healthy ones. But how am I with perfumes? I spray yeah, myself with perfume all day. All day. All and day. before going to bed. I definitely cut back on my cologne usage for sure. I am always gonna be a perfume girl. So, anyways, I put that there. And I feel like I am done with my. Oh, oh wait, wait, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm bringing a boppy. Boppy? Yeah, it's called a boppy. It's a, a feed. bopper. It's an infant support pillow, you guys. So basically, you put this around your, yourself, and then you have the baby right here. Oh, so he nice. lays so there. It's gonna be nice and comfy. Exactly. I kind of like this design this too. Is it's cute, nice. Huh? Yeah. It's like reminds me of Tahoe. Has like little it bears. Has mushrooms. What? Mushrooms. Yeah, look. There's little oh, mushrooms. it does have little mushrooms. He's gonna be lit. Mushrooms, bears. It's so cute. But yeah, basically he's gonna be up there, and it's nice and comfortable. <laughs> that way, you know, the mom's not like that. Yeah. Another thing I'm bringing you guys that's very, very important is I am bringing this big old box. Placenta saver. So this is mommy made encapsulation. I am going to get be getting my placenta encapsulated. So I am going to be sending it off to this company that is called mommy, Inca mommy made. And yeah, I'm going to be getting it encapsulated. If you guys don't know what that means, don't open it. Oh, don't open it. <laughs> Yeah, don't open it. Oh, because they want it to be nice and sanitary, huh? Yeah, nice and ster uh, sterile. But well, if you, you guys don't... They would have a little cleaner on the outside. I just, I was playing with it. Uh oh If you guys don't know what that means, it means that they get your placenta, they dry it out and everything, and then they put it into, make it powder form, and they put it into capsules. It's supposed to help with, increase your, your milk supply, help to decrease your depression, postpartum depression, mood, that energy. So it's gonna supposedly help with everything, you know. Doesn't hurt to try. No, it works. Yeah, so. It's a proven fact it works. I am excited for that. Are you gonna have some? No, I don't need that. That's for you. <laughs> 
Okay. I've got no milk. All right, Daddy, what are you, what are you gonna take? All right, guys, let me see. So look, I got the star projector thing so Alex can feel comfortable oh. in there at night. You're so sweet, Set babe. the mood, you know what I'm saying? Because we always put our little star projector when we go to bed. Not every day, but like movie nights. I don't know how many days we're gonna be there, but I will have my journal with me so that way I could uh, write down how I'm feeling. I got my toiletries, obviously, toothbrush, toothpaste, contact solution. I got my tongue scraper so my son doesn't have to smell my hot ass breath in the morning, just in case it is the morning. You would think you would clean your tongue scraper. No, this is made out of copper, what do you mean? You wash it every time you use it. <laughs> Guys, if you know anything about health, you must get a copper, only copper tongue scraper. Got some comfy boxers, these pink ones. The heck? Yeah, these, are, these are the most They comfy are comfortable boxes. though, you guys. Are, they're super comfortable. I got some sweatpants. I got some sweatpants in here. Aluminum free deodorant right here. That should be in your uh, toiletry bag. Okay, well, look, I'm putting it in there right now. And then I brought a book, which I probably won't read. It'll mostly be on my phone and recording. Dude, you're gonna be a dad. And then. You did read a little bit of it. But he didn't. Love yourself like your life depends on it. Yeah. What'd you say about this book, man? If you're a dad, you don't need to read this. There's not that much good information in here. <laughs> I'm not talking shit. And why are you reading I'm it? I'm not talking shit. I don't know. It's just like something to read other than stare <laughs> at my phone all day. Okay. So, you know, I'll go back through there and, you know, there's a few good points in there, but it wasn't like nothing like. One pair of sweatpants? Yeah. Any shirts? Babe, I'm not gonna be worried about changing too much. I'm gonna be worried about like making sure our son's okay more than so my hygiene. So <laughs> yeah, I'm packing light. I got enough other shit to carry. All right, guys, and look, this is the last thing, the most important thing, the most in, your bag. in my bag that's truest and dearest to Alex's heart: the massage gun, the booty blaster. Just what? Kidding. <laughs> That's what Kellen called it the other day. Oh my god. Earlier. No, this is YouTube, dude. This isn't freaking. Um, yeah, so That's look. so wrong saying booty. I know, I'm just joking. So look, Alex loves foot massages. My hands, I got, my hands get tired fast. Kelsey's so, lazy. So, no, I'm not lazy. <laughs> it's just like, dude, this thing could, I'm sure goes way better and works wonders more than my hands do than massaging mm -hmm. your feet. Mm -hmm. No, this thing's the best. Mm -hmm. She likes it on her lower back and her feet, so definitely bring in this. Yeah. Fellas, if your girl's pregnant, get one of these. It'll save you years of carpal tunnel and, um. Laziness. Yeah, there you go. Laziness, sure. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we did not forget about our baby. We packed him a little bag. I still need a few little things, but I'll show you guys what we have for him. Let's see, let's see. This little diaper bag uh, is from Target. My uncle got it for me because I put it on my registry, so. Oh, nice. I like the colors. All right, so I will show you guys what. Can we see his little first outfit that we're bringing him home in? I don't know. I can't reach. Alice can't do nothing that's down on the ground. She can't even tie her own shoes no more. Okay, so we have little outfits. Um, I uh, We still need a lot, a few more newborn stuff. You know what? I get a lot of things like, don't get a lot of newborn stuff because he's going to grow too fast or whatever, but I still want to get a little bit more. So this is one of them. I want him to be super comfy. has cute little koalas on there. I like that one. And a little hat to go with it. So that's one. I think this is like so cute. But no, I love that one. And then it comes with. Is it so hot in September? Is that the, a dumb question? The babies, babies are gonna. He's gonna be cold. Yeah, no, I was just no. I'm just uh, curious. no, because uh, remember in October we're like lit and we're on was Halloween it? and yeah, we're like wearing, hot. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah, it's gonna be. Fun. Okay, and this is the other outfit for him. Very Ooh, warm. Oh, I like this one. This one with the elephants, right? So All cute and comfortable. And it's so tiny. So cute. I like this one. Yeah, I love it. And then a little hat. I just want him to be warm because, like, babies need, like, some warmth on their head. That's how they regulate their temperature. Oh, through their head? Yeah. Nice. Okay. And then I also brought some. Let's see. What was that? I'm bringing two. Just a white one? Plain one? Yeah, two plain ones. I was told I need to bring some. Oh, it's just three months. Anyways, I, th I thought it was newborn. <laughs> oh, you know what? Big. No, you know what? I brought this one because like, what if he's a little bit bigger on the bigger side and he needs this one? Yeah. What? Okay, he yeah. He could be big. Why'd you go like that? No, because I'm just thinking. I'm like, huh. you, you know, what if he's not tiny, tiny, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just thinking ahead. And then it comes with a little hat. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to reorganize this again. I brought some pacifiers. Do they use pacifiers right for the newborns? I saw in videos that it's good to bring pacifiers okay. just to soothe them. We shall find out. We shall soon find enough. Out. And then little, little socks. baby socks. How tiny are these? They're so cute. Do you have to put? We're not putting socks on him if he's got a onesie on, right? No, definitely not. No, but you too hot. You're all about temperature. Kelly gets way too hot. And I brought some burp yeah. cloths. Oh, burp cloths. cloths. Not cops. Clobs. <laughs> burp. Burp cloths. 
<laughs> Would you like a burp glove? Okay, so you put this right here. And so, oh, that way you can just like throw up on you? Yeah, that way my shirt doesn't, our shirts don't get all. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just go buy a bunch of packs of white tees from Costco and we'll be straight for a while. Okay, and then hopefully this fits him, but this is gonna be his little going home outfit. Um, This is a little Gucci outfit that his huh. Auntie Crystal and Uncle Ree got him. Isn't it so yeah, he's cute? Gonna let, he's gonna let go. Oh, he's hopefully got, it fits. It's a little on the bigger side, but if it doesn't fit, we'll just use it later on. He's got a bib. Does he? Have, he has a beanie with it. It's in there somewhere too. And he has a little bib with. I mean, sorry, a little hat. But yes, you guys, this is what I have for him so far. I am gonna bring some swaddles. I don't have any yet, so I'm gonna bring some swaddles. I did bring some wipes. Just in case, I know that the, the hospital gives you a lot of um, diapers, I was told, so I don't think I wanna pack any diapers, but this is what I have so far. Do they use good quality diapers? I'm sure they do. We could just bring our own too, because we have a bunch in here. Yeah, so. we got a bunch of diapers already. Yeah. We haven't even had our baby shower. Oh, yet. one more thing. Sorry, you guys, I keep forgetting. It, this was in his bag. I'm bringing a little Polaroid camera, because oh, I nice. love Polaroid pictures. We'll take some awesome pictures with that thing. Yeah, I love me a Polaroid. Me and Alex always take the best Polaroid pictures. I know. Also, this is a little thing for us to put his little foots on, and that way we could have his little feet there. It says, clean touch ink pad no mess baby's foot never touches the ink so, yeah. nice so cute that's perfect um and then like i said some wipes so yeah i'm missing just like a few little things here and there swaddles blah 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 but we're gonna be getting that i feel like what do we have five more weeks five more weeks i want to get everything done this week and like just chill and wait for him to come <laughs> How do you we're feel? excited i'm excited this my bag's light i got looks like i got a whole bunch of other stuff to carry but we're gonna make it work yeah how do you feel about being a dad pretty soon i'm excited i'm super guys like to be honest it's like it's such like a surreal feeling now that we have oh, we gotta do a uh, we gotta yeah. do a nursery reveal. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, back to the question. I'm sorry. Now that we have the nursery done, we need to do a nursery reveal for you guys. It's just like it's coming so fast. Like these doctor's appointments that we had, like today, like I swore we were just there like a day ago. That's what it yeah, feels like. Everything every is flying now. by. Yeah. Every two weeks, like these two weeks, is, it doesn't feel like two weeks. It feels like so you the ba the baby's gonna be here in no time. That's what yeah literally it's gonna happen. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, we're yeah. I'm excited. I just want him to be here already. I want to yeah. see what he looks like. Looks like you. He, <laughs> he looks like you. But yeah, I'm excited to meet him and just kiss his little face. But anyways, you guys, if you guys have any suggestions to add to this, or if you think we're not gonna need something, let us know down below. Below. We just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. We're so excited to share this journey with you guys. Super excited. And yeah, I am just filled with so much love. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm ready to meet him. I'm so ready to meet him. Yeah, you guys have had the Bonding ultimate time. bondage time. We Nine read months to of him. Bonding. We yeah. read to him sometimes at night, and oh, I just can't wait to read to him like when he's out and everything. So. I just want to hold his little, I want him to grab my finger with his little hands and his, oh. his little oh. <laughs> So cute. All right, you guys, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We love you guys so, so much. And yes, if do. you are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications bell. Leave a little comment and we'll get back to you. Love you guys. See you in the next we'll video. We'll get back to you. <laughs>